So here it is, over 1,000 kills later, after weapon level maxing every submachine gun. The answer to which is the best submachine gun in Black Ops 3, or as I should say, what in my opinion is the best SMG in Black Ops 3. And also, which is my favourite submachine gun to use in Black Ops 3, because funnily enough, they aren't the same gun. So I'm going to go through all the base SMGs, giving my thoughts on each one, finishing off on my favourite SMG to use, and then what I think is the best SMG. To start off with, my least favourite SMG has to be the Pharaoh, a highly unusual four round burst SMG, which got me 205 kills, a KD ratio of 0.69 and 15 percent accuracy i'll admit though for better more experienced players the pharaoh could be top of their list because it because it is incredibly accurate and fast firing and works great as long as you get those bursts on target the problem that i have is that i'm simply not good enough to get the most out of this gun i'm guilty of firing first then pulling my crosshairs over my target which works fine for full autos but is a no-no for burst weapons because it means that i can be in between bursts by the time i'm on target use the pharaoh well and it could be for you the best smg in the game but unfortunately it only works for me when i'm on top of my game which isn't very often an underrated SMG, but the Weevil deserves at least some of your attention. After 178 kills and a KD ratio of 1.05 with 18% accuracy, I love playing with the Weevil. It doesn't do that much damage, but combine that rate of fire with a, a standard magazine that seems to go on forever, and you've got a flanker's dream. Use this MG, SMG and you'll be fast enough to get behind enemies and have the magazine capacity to drop several of them in a row. Next up is the Vespa. Apart from the one-shot kill shotgun, the Vespa is probably the best gun in COD Black Ops 3 up close. Over 284 kills, I managed a KD ratio of 0.90 and 17% accuracy. But that belies the fun I had with this gun. Run the Vespa as your main weapon and the XM53 launcher as your secondary and you will annoy the crap out of your enemies by decimating them up close and then by exploding them with the RPG from range, a truly satisfying experience. The Vespa can dominate areas like the middle of Exodus, you know, the lobby area with the stairs at each end. You can simply melt any enemies who challenge you at the sort of range that the Vespa excels at. The downside is the Vespa kicks like a mule and is terrible at medium to long ranges where it definitely loses out to my top SMGs. The problem I have with the CUDA is although it's a great gun, you know, I've had 391 kills at a KD ratio of 1.03 and 18% accuracy, I find that it can't beat the, beat the faster SMGs up close or the more powerful assault rifles from further away. Sure, fit rapid fire and extended mags and the CUDA can do some serious work, but you'll still find yourself losing gunfights to faster firing or more powerful weapons. But despite all that, I still really like using the CUDA every now and again. The recoil is low, and as long as you're not getting into direct gunfights with faster guns, you can do very well. The CUDA is a workmanlike weapon that does well in many situations, but doesn't excel in anything. But saying that, you know, repeating about the low recoil means that it is a breeze to use. Now, for the top two, and to be honest, I flip flop backwards and forwards about which one I like the best, but in second place at the moment is the last SMG you unlock as you level up through Black Ops 3, the Razorback. Or, as I like to call it, the SMG that wants so badly to be an assault rifle, and maybe it succeeds. I found the Razorback very, very difficult to use when I first unlocked it. After 420 kills and a KD ratio of 1.15 and an accuracy of 22%, I now think it's an amazing gun, combining the versatility of an SMG and some of the power of an assault rifle, but only if you put rapid fire and quick draw and probably extended mags on as attachments. Just don't get up too close with those shotguns and faster firing SMGs. The Razorback is so, so good and works well in many 
situations but its inability to compete with other smgs up close means that it can't be the best sub in the game but it is my favorite smg to use so the weapon that i think is the best submachine gun in black ops 3 is as you've probably guessed already the VMP. I've got 556 kills with this weapon with a KD ratio of 0.88 and a 17% accuracy. But I feel that the VMP is the quintessential SMG. A fast fire rate, deadly up close, and it gives you the maneuverability to be able to get around the flanks of your enemies, but it also has the power to take them on in close up head to head gunfights. I know that most of the pros use the VMP, but you know, I've been using it since starting Black Ops 3 on the Xbox 360. It is such a good gun. As far as attachments go, you can't go wrong with a couple of grips and extended mags or long barrel. Just make sure you only change mags in safe places and feather that trigger on mid to long range gunfights. So there it is. In my opinion, the best submachine gun in Black Ops 3 is the VMP. But my favourite submachine gun to use is actually the Razorback, as long as you add rapid fire and quick draw. So if you haven't already, give them both a go. That's enough from me. Thanks for watching. Put your questions and comments down below what you think is the best SMG in Black Ops 3. If you've enjoyed the video, hit the like button. Subscribe if you'd like to see more of the same. Thank you very, very much for watching, and I'll see you again soon.